Hey everybody, it's Paul. And Google announced some awesome, awesome information today that's well overdue, highly anticipated ever since the product first came out. And that is multi-user support. That's right, Google Home now supports multiple users. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up real quick. I'll also have a link in the description below in case you wanna read the instructions for yourself to follow the steps for setting it up. So let's get started. So with multiple users on Google Home, it supports up to six Google accounts. So the person who's wanting to use Google Home is gonna to need to download the Google Home app onto their phone or tablet. Once you've done that, you're gonna click on the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner. It has the three bars stacked on top. You're gonna to make sure that the Google account that is showing is yours or the one that you wanna use. Note that if you have two Gmail accounts, let's say one for home, one for work, you need to pick one because you'll only be able to sync one. Once you've done that, once you've ensured that Google account up at the top left corner is the one you want to use, you're going to back out of that menu and in the upper right hand corner, you're going to click on the devices icon. And once you've done that, it should pull up the device card. Just below it, you should see a blue banner that says multi-users available or link account, something to that effect. You're going to click on that button and then follow the prompts. You're going to have to do some voice queuing with Google Home, such as OK Google or Hey Google. And once you've done that, you'll have to do some test phrases. Once Google is satisfied with that, that's it, you're linked in. When you ask for your information for your day or whatever the case may be, you're gonna get it. Now, if you need some examples of what Google Home can do, be sure to check out my video. I'll have a link in the description below. Also, you can go into the settings and customize it for your music or videos or photo services or things like that. I highly suggest you go through the Google Home app and take a look at some of the settings and customizations you can do as well as the features. Things are being added all the time. Make sure you tinker around in the Google Home settings so that you get the best out of the Google Assistant. So that's a quick look in the setup process for multiple users on Google Home. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, hit me up on the social media or leave something in the comment section. I try my best to answer everybody. Also, if you like this video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos just like this. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and share it. Thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to those who have subscribed. And until then, more great tech videos are on the way. We'll see you next time.